to. I mean, it's the weekend. We always have plenty of yeah. local sports going on, of course. But uh, the Thunder Bay North Stars found themselves alone at the top of the SIJHL standings after Thursday night's win against the Red Lake Miners. But tonight, the Miners would answer back in the second game of the weekend series. Joe Sadowski has the highlights. The first place, Thunder Bay North Stars, has a nice ring to it. In the last six weeks, the North Stars have made a case to be considered Bill Salomon Cup contenders, and that's a big thanks to their top line of EJ Paddington, Easton Mikus, and Captain Edison Weeks, who are first, second, and third, respectively, in scoring throughout the entire league. But in the first period, the North Stars' high-powered offense was snake-bitten by Red Lake netminder Ethan Nish, who's getting the start in back-to-back -back games, and he put on a show, shutting down a flurry of chances from the North Stars. But Edison Weeks had another shot on the breakaway. <laughs> Weeks denied for the second game in a row on a breakaway, and the Miners escaped the first period with a 1-0 lead thanks to a seeing-eye shot from the point by Austin Durzap. In the second, the Miners added to their lead with a wicked shot from Ethan Cerrone. And just like on Thursday night, the goal scoring came in waves in the third period. Tyler Jordan left all alone in front, shovels the backhander past Nish to cut the deficit to one. And then just minutes later, Easton Mikus, he jumps on a loose puck to tie the game at twos. This game wouldn't need a shootout, and the Red Lake Miners hand the North Stars a 3-2 loss off the game winner from Luke DeCorby. And Thunder Bay keeps the point streak alive and still have not lost in regulation since October the 7th. The Stars are back at it Saturday night for the weekend series finale. Joe Sadowski, TBT Sports.